This is the same pit. My name is Michi Hoyer. Welcome to today's edition of Sim Racing Technical Insight. The today's star of the show will be Field of View. So, Field of View is a topic we have all heard about when being into sim racing. We've all discussed about, and we've literally seen videos a lot about this topic already. However, I thought I would like this uh, topic. Um, also in my show and I also want to give it my personal point of view and uh, looking at it from a more practical perspective. That means first of all we need to make sure that we understand what field of view does. Now as we are sim racers or this applies basically to any other first person um, game here in the virtual reality in the gaming world we need to understand that field of view actually tells us what we should be able to see according to the position of our head, of our eyes in front of the screen and the size of the screen. Um, now, while this sounds a little abstract, we want to have a look into it a little bit more closely. In this picture, we have you sitting half a meter away uh, from the screen. So you are indicated as a red dot and your gaming screen is indicated as the blue line that is going across the halo here. Now the green lines shall determine the borders of what you are able to see sitting in front of the screen in this position. Now pretending you are half a meter away from your screen, screen stays the same but you move like back a meter gets you into this position which makes your field of view a lot smaller. Now you need to first understand how is field of view working practically and for this reason I came up with a little well I don't want to call it experiment but uh, it is a little of a practical test so you do understand what field of view is actually doing. For this reason I have brought up this little device so now pretending this eye or this hole is your screen which means that is your current field of view with a with your eyes being the camera and your screen being the hole in the middle now right now you can see with the current field of view you're only to see a little bit of my steering wheel and a little bit of my um, monitor now if going a little bit further away from your eyes still you see that the field doesn't really go bigger. In fact, you're only able to see the steering wheel a little bit. However, what field of view really does comes apparent when we go closer. So that means you are moving your head towards the screen or towards the window, however you want to see it. Now, the steering wheel comes up. I should get better go in that position again. Bear with me. Coming closer and closer and closer. And this is basically what field of view does. Now your field of view is much more up, so you can see not only the entire steering wheel, but the center of the screen, part of my button box, and the pedals. So coming back to the picture we had indicated here at first, this is nothing else than moving the red dot forwards and backwards towards the blue screen. You could also experience field of view when you are standing in the middle of a room looking out of a window. The closer you go to the window, the more you are able to see outside. This is basically what happens here in the field of view. So the field of view is trying to do nothing else than calculate what you should be able to see while sitting in the car in your front passenger seat. This is currently my personal setting. So now we want to find out how does field of view being calculated and how does it relate to this picture. So I once again bring up this picture. Um, believe it or not, field of view, there is only one mathematically correct position or one mathematically correct field of view for your individual seating and your individual screen size. And we are going to measure my field of view life for once here. But first of all, I'd like to bring up 
um, a little bit more insight, especially in sim racing, how um, field of view is being conducted here. And in sim racing, there is two different types of, or in general, in all racing games or in all games, there's two different types of calculation of field of view. The one being horizontal, that means having the field of view measured in a degree on a horizontal line, which applies for eye racing, for instance. And there is one in horizontal line, so from or yeah, here from uh, top to the bottom, which is uh, applied in R factor two, for example. So what we need to do is to calculate the um, field of view. So take the position of us, the red dot, and compare it or put it in relation to the size of the screen. Now, for that matter, let me quickly change the desktop we have been here on the um, on this web page, uh, projectimmersion.com, and I will put the link of this uh, in the description of this video. Um, so my monitor is a 32 to 9 size, and it is an inch, 20, uh, 49 inch. Uh, which is indicated right here. So you can play around a little bit more to really understand what field of view does. You see that is a bigger picture or that is a bigger screen. Uh, I should probably bring that up a little bit. That is a bigger screen and closing down on the field of view limits what I'm able to see. Now let's pretend we are on a really high screen and we're putting ourselves really close to the monitor. That means we can see a damn lot. However, what happens if we move ourselves further far away? That is a lot less that we can see. So to come to the point, actually, we need to find our personal position. Now, my screen is 49 inch. So I set up 49 inch. I've already selected uh, Vertical field of view for R factor 2 and 1. Uh, project cars is horizontal. I set the course at Competizione is vertical again. I racing is horizontal. Um, there is a total list of things. Um, anyway, need to put that into centimeters right now. Then I got measuring stick here. So I tried to find the position of my eyes how close it is towards the screen. So be careful when hitting the screen there. And here is my eyes. This makes it 66 centimeters. So we're putting in 66. And then we go and calculate our field of view, which is 28 degrees on a vertical immersion. So coming out to the point, looking back onto our pictures, um, which means now the red dot, as in me, being away of the screen, the blue line, by 66 centimeters, and the screen having a size of 49 inch. Now, I will show you both extremes now on the um, on the simulator. Now, with this being the default setup, uh, I can tell you on the fly what is important about this uh, field of view to know, um, which is it helps you so much, and there is a good reason why it does so. And I indicate this to you from going away from the default to the maximum default so that is now a hundred degree field of view which would be the equivalent of me sitting right with a face on the screen and you see it on the miniature picture on the left bottom side how it looks like to me and you'll see me struggling 
spotting apexes. So why is field of view so important? Field of view gives you a f correct feeling and a real sense of speed, distance, behavior of the car and any other surroundings. Looking at this picture, we are I'm sort of in a tunnel. Everything is moving super fast past our side and you know while doing just around 100 kilometers an hour 120 it doesn't feel a lot different to the 220 we're doing right now coming up to cops corner while driving around silverstone uh, while hitting the brakes while accelerating while braking while cornering, I do not feel at all the difference in the speed. Missing corners, missing the right entry speeds, missing the points of uh, getting on acceleration again. So this field of view doesn't help me at all. However, we're going to finish the lap and then show you the opposite um, of field of view, which has been way too close. And then we're going to do a final lap with the correct field of view. Um, once again here missing ex the entire braking point apart from the fact that anything else here in the cockpit looks quite unrealistic braking point should be around here but once again I do not have any feel of slowdown coming towards the final turn now going into the complete opposite direction as in being miles away from the screen and here you can see we are going ever so slow. Now this setting would be with my head being three or four meters away from the screen. Um, also no feel of speed whatsoever. I do not even see apexes. I have no clue where I'm going really. Uh, you see it here on the curbs. Look how slowly the curb is passing us. And once again... <clears throat> We're accelerating out of zero or out of 50 kph to over 200, but everything feels the same, literally slow. Uh, the sideways movement of the smallest direction change you could expect or imagine feels like being so violent. Look at that, if going a little left to right, uh, how it looks like on the screen, totally unnatural. And uh, this is a huge problem because, once again, I'm not able to judge distances. I'm not able to judge this uh, speed. <clears throat> Neither I'm able to judge the condition of the car. You know, if I'm now starting to spin, I won't probably see it. Because, yeah. Of a total unnatural picture moving around here. Which comes up to the fact that we are now checking our field of view that should be our personal optimum now with a field of view being very personal of course there is some personal liking included so a few degrees upwards or downwards do not make a major difference but look how long it takes until you see the apex of the next corner so now coming to our field of view, which is 28, this, and now you can see you have a natural view of the cockpit, you also have a natural view of corners going around, and eventually, when we're starting to break for turn 1 and 2, you feel the curves going slower parts to you, and then quicker parts to you, you have a lot more control of the car, you have a lot more sense of speed, you have a lot more sense of depth and this is essential when it comes towards fighting against each other. Now with the fuel run out on us, this also ends our video here. I hope you guys um, got some little more insight into the topic that is called field of view and I do once again um, show you the pictures speaking about the field of view here so it is very important that you find your personal spot 
the personal distance from the screen to your eyes and the size of the screen because according to that your field of view will lie somewhere in between here and there and this once again is very important for you to have optimal racing to have optimal gaming in any first person view kind of gaming type and is also very important for your performance I hope this video has helped you a little bit to understand what field of view does why it is important and why you should get out your measuring stick straight away to get your personal field of view if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to comment down in the comments area below and I will answer you as soon as possible if you like the video I appreciate if you hit up the like button and subscribe to the channel this is the Simpid, I'm Ichi Hoya and I'll see you guys out on the track.